I'm not sure what's visible out here and what's not. But, uh, I'm going to try some nighttime fishing here. Cat fishing. I got some hot dogs I made. Uh, made my own stink bait pretty much. Okay. Got some uh, custom hot dogs here. looks pretty gross looks like dog food I grilled the hot dogs so they'd be a little bit tougher covered them in butter while I was grilling them uh, salt garlic powder and there's even some cheese mixed in there pepper jack cheese This is what they have out here. Channel cats and rainbow trout. There's no minimum length here because they're all stocked, but limit of five per day of any fish. All right, this is a little trick I figured out. I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do it. But uh, instead of a bell or something, or there's a rod alarm or alert, make sure there's a little bit of slack in the line. And I put a water bottle or a can, or, usually a water bottle works best. But if something pulls the, the rod or pulls the line, it's actually going to shoot the bottle off the end of the rod. It's not working right now, but that's how it'll work. I don't want to do it right now because it'll probably shoot it out into the water. Just like that, without even touching it, flew off. So if there's a fish or something, it'll shoot the bottle off and that'll get my attention. Yeah. I don't know if, if I've ever gone over my uh, rod holder here. I don't know. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to make. It's a piece of rebar. It's about a foot and a half. Maybe it's two feet long with a piece of PVC pipe. Looks like two and a half inches, maybe three inches across. And whoever made it just put duct tape all the way around. I would use something else like zip ties. Zip ties would work better than duct tape. Actually, here's a zip tie right here, but it's cut off, it's broken. Zip ties would work better for me, but it's really cheap, really easy to do. Stick it in the ground. Uh, if you go back and watch my video that's titled Something is Killing All the Fish at a Spot of Park, I actually find this there. Somebody left it behind. So if you don't want to make one, you don't want to buy one, just keep walking around. You'll probably find one eventually. I found a handful of them. I found some like prof professional ones that were bought at a store. Found other stuff. So, yeah, just... They're pretty useful if you're uh, fishing with live bait or dead bait or something besides like you can't really use them if you're fishing with lures but if you're posted up at one spot you're not going to move around and uh you're fishing with bait they uh, they work pretty well they're pretty useful Let's see the people that were fishing here a little while ago they left their all their trash And apparently not just their trash, they left their fish. Look at this. Well, maybe it wasn't them. This one's been here for a little while, but that's good. No, it's not that old. It's still, it's still fairly fresh some, sometime today. I don't know if you can see this very clearly, but that's a good 14 inch channel cat there. Somebody just left it here on the ground. Didn't even take it with them. Just it's like if you're not gonna keep the fish, throw it back in the water. Like what? What is that purpose of that? 
you know what actually I'm gonna take a picture of it and then put it back out in the water so it at least becomes some kind of resource for something else not very old it's still soft it's just been been eaten yeah kicking about what's that uh no not yet yeah i just i was just checking out this spot i got my gear still down over here but somebody caught their catfish and then just left it here on the ground, so I just threw it back out. All right, I'll see you around, man. I think I got a bite because my water bottle's gone. Oh, I'm glad I'm recording. I think I got a fish. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got something, I think it's just a little one though. What do we got there? Yep, little one. <laughs> Little channel cat. There you go, get him off there. Uh, he's only maybe 10 inches, 10 or 11 inches, just a little one. I'm actually gonna throw him back. Well, of course I'm gonna throw him back, but uh. Try to get a picture of him here. See if I can pick him up without getting hurt. Nice, nice little catfish here. It's only maybe three quarters of a pound, but hey, I'm glad to get him. At least I know my hot dogs work. <laughs> he's actually still swimming around there, but he's there. He goes. He's swimming off now. All right, that's cool. Uh, let's see what time is it. It's 9.46, I got about 15 minutes left. I'm gonna try it again. Let me see if I can find my water bottle. Oh, it's out there in the water. Never mind. Well, I can get it back. Let me get that. Hopefully I got the, some of that fight. He, he got himself tangled up in the, uh, the, the roots over there, but I was able to bring it in. Oh. That's actually my first fish in a while. I might just call it a night right there to uh, just so I can end on a high note. <laughs>